cheese And Santa put gifts under Christmas trees Decorate the house with lights at night Snow's on the ground, snow white so bright In the fireplace is the Yule log Beneath the mistletoe as we drink eggnog The rhymes that you hear are the rhymes of Gerald Like each and every year we bust Christmas carols Christmas carols
This is terrifyingly big. I don't know what I'm more disturbed about. We're two days away from the show, and you're in my office with a BBC, or I'm still having issues with the, the ADL, LD, a Mexican heritage thing. Ugh. But you got that situated. I almost got it situated. We're still having problems. It's not done yet. Well, what's going on now? Well, okay. Yes. Why, 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 why? Because it's in the way. But why do I, why is it on me? I didn't put it on me. <laughs> I just put it there. I mean, so you're putting, you're putting it on me. I didn't put it on you. I just put it down. Put it on you. <laughs> put it on you. No, just wait. Keep it right here. Never mind. Thanks. Like I was saying, we're still having issues with the fact that Danny is. Okay, all right, all right, wait a minute, all right. You know what we just found out? I can only imagine. You have to come over here and look. You know what he does on the weekend? What? He volunteers and works as a border crossing guard. Volunteers? Yeah, volunteers. You know, you have a volunteer fireman? Yeah. Okay. He's a volunteer border crossing guard. You know, he works the border. Doing what? And rounds up illegals. He rounds up illegals. Like bringing them in? No, kicking them out. Volunteer. He volunteers to kick illegals out. I just found that out. I'm going to show you the pictures. You want to see the pictures? Here are the pictures. But he's Mexican. He can't. I know out he's Mexican. People. Just take a look. Take a look. That's not him, is it? It's him. Look. Look. I can't. Exactly. It's very disturbing. And he looks so happy. I fuck, of course he's happy. Oh my gosh. He's kicking out illegals. His own people. His own people. It's probably like the third or fourth cousin. That's so sad. Butcher. Oh, fuck. That's a fucking legend you're looking at right there. The scars from a career. Of some of the most violent matches, and look at Jasmine St. Clair. Looks like the man's got something to say.
situation in Southern California has left us with another opening on the card. There's another fella back here with no way to fight. Bobby Beverly, I won that tournament 20 years ago. Now get your ass out of here, I'm gonna beat your ass. That's something to say, brother. Oh no. Here we fucking go. What an obnoxious fucking prick. What in the fuck is happening? Jasmine St. Clair wearing what I think is my favorite shirt of all time. Yes! It's my fucking boy right there. Did you see the shirt that Jasmine's wearing? Barely wearing? Bobby Beverly coming over there. Jasmine St. Clair can't tear her eyes off of that sexy son of a bitch. Bobby having one hell of a fucking 2022. Hot as fuck. Everybody's aware. Everybody's aware of Bobby Beverly. Fucking deathmatch legend in the making. Reminds me so much of the Van Zandt boys. Hold oh. on! Necro jump starts things and attacks Bobby. Shit cans him to the outside. The Bethel hasn't even had a chance to take off that groovy jacket. Love that jacket. Love that shirt. That is awesome. Oh, fuck! That was a lot fucking closer than I'd like. I only got one good eye. I don't want nothing going toward the other one. Who would have thought in the year 2022 we'd be seeing Necro Butcher involved? Well, it's taking a bite out of him. Beverly wondering what the fuck he got himself involved in here. But you're looking at the tournament of death champion right there, Bobby Beverly, not one to be fucked with. Not oh, at all, Bob. Bobby's gonna be singing tenor tonight if he's hitting any karaoke spots, but I'm quite sure that's not what Bobby Beverly's doing in his spare time. I'm not sure with a good part of these Ooh. fans if there's anything Necro could do that would turn them on him. Referee with those special protective goggles. Stiff shots. Big head bite. Sounds like two bowling balls smacking together. Oh, God! What a contingent at ringside with Necro. Necro, uh, I'm sorry, MAGA Butcher now opening up that barricade. Thanks for correcting me. I don't need to be fucking having any trouble with this entire group. The MAGA Butcher. Beverly able to deflect some of that, but does it with his elbow. So he's taking punishment there. Oh! No! Yes! Drops him down! That back. Feeling every bits of it. MAGA Butcher. Still a force to be reckoned with. Clears everybody on the way, sends Beverly back. See our oh shit! XPW merchandise and almost took his head off with that chair. Watch out, those are folding chairs. So much weight. Those things will fuck you up. Oh yeah, no thanks. Maga Butcher. 
Says he doesn't need any help. Big left. And another from Beverly. Right in with the Savages in the crowd. Seem to be firmly behind Maga Butcher. Oh! Well, we had a merch table. The merch ladies, not happy. Sexy as fuck, but not happy. That's, that's I mean, what you sign up for when you get merchandise oh, station. Oh, huh? oh fuck. <laughs> like a magnet, just bink. Oh, fuck. Did you hear that thud on top of his? He's swinging a ghost. So, oh, God. That's one way to disarm the MAGA Butcher. Look at that crowd. Oh! Oh, he's got his, his number two pencil! We saw him carve up the definition of pain Terex with that same pencil. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Doing some Cobra Kai shit. That pencil reminiscent of the original Sheik. Used to love to carve up his opponents. Look at him stabbing away. Oh! Beverly bleeding profusely. But when you win the CZW Tournament of Death, you establish yourself as one of the top, one of the elite. Oh, he's got the bell! Uses the ring bell, Maga Butcher. Stabbing Against. away. We found ourselves oh. awfully close to the action. Now. Yeah, a few a times too more close. than I would like. The bell's okay. Oh, I don't know about Necro anymore. Look at the amount of blood loss, Beverly. But now, takes control with the light tools. Oh, getting hit with glass all the way over here. It's that spooky gas. Woo. Oh, look at the blood just. Oh, watch out. Coming! We got glass showering down here on the commentary booth. This is getting insane. The TV is okay. Referee checking both of these men who are just hit gushers. The crimson mask. The phrase coined by the great Gordon Soley. Don't think even he could ever anticipate it. This type of bloodshed. Necro. The MAGA Butcher. Bobby Beverly with a... Oh, my God. Another one of those nine-foot tubes. We saw those earlier tonight. You see the blood pouring on the top of the fucking head. Look at... Oh, my God. Not good. Referee checking, but... The Butcher, not one to ever utter the words he quits. He'll fucking die before he quits. Drops Beverly sack first on that steel Ooh. barricade. The educated feet of Butcher. God oh. damn it. Almost took out the fans. Thank God they're two Neandra calls. Beverly just sent hurling into the crowd. Bone stop those two mountains of men. Jesus Christ almighty. Like a lab experiment gone awry. Ran head first into the steel barricade. This is fucking nasty. Everybody on their feet. Jasmine St. Clair, I used to work for her 3PW in Philadelphia back in the day. Did you really? Yes, absolutely. And her, uh, she made an appearance for me in Florida. Oof. 
Very cool. I like seeing old friends, especially when they look like Jasmine St. Clair. Gouging at the eyes of the bat. No. Look at these people at ringside. They're like Christmas morning. Their eyes are twinkling. Smiling Smart from ear to ear. I'm on the lookout for fuckers with White Claw in the audience. I'm parched. <laughs> Your back is not meant to be bent that way. Knock the wind out of me. Jesus. Jesus. Brutal. The back is meant to take that type of punishment. Necro tossing the Bev back inside the ring, but look at this. The Just Bev came up, not empty-handed. Where the fuck did he get those? Like a goddamn Jedi. Oh, oh, fuck! Glass pouring out right into the audience, but showering down over the face of Necro first. Listen to that. Yeah, they like what they see. Beverly, prove it. He is at an elite level, but he is in there with. You hear it, brother? This is fucking awesome. Getting their first taste of XPW tonight, and I think they're thirsty for more. Oh, I'm fucking horny for more. Fuck <laughs> thirsty. Give me more. What's he got in mind here? Whoa. He's trying. Maybe like a Russian leg sweep. Oh. The hardcore hillbilly. Oh. Get the feeling he's going to fucking regret that. Striking him down with the power of Trump. Oh, God. Look at the face. Of Bobby Beverly. What's he gonna do to the hardcore hillbilly? Oh, for fuck's sake! Fuck! Under those Christmas ornaments, he has a severe laceration. Looks like underneath his arm. Two count. Necro thought it was over. I tried to believe. steal that one from the Bev. That fucker laying in that bed of debris is in trouble as well. <laughs> Stuck his nose where it don't belong, but Jesus Christ, MAGA Butcher, looking like he went through a fucking meat grinder. Found another what? one of those Japanese doors. Just pouring. Fuck. It's fucking disgusting. Yet it turns me on in a strange way. The Butcher, setting up Beverly. What's he got in mind? No. Oh! Able to skin the cat. Meow. Beverly somehow fucking... I don't know if it was an act of desperation there or what the fuck. Big headbutt. I never noticed the size of the cranium of the butcher. That's a big fucking noggin he's got there. Oh, hey. Making it count, huh? Okay. Oh! Nobody's in a hurry. To go where that fucking hillbilly went. He's still writhing in agony. I'm wondering about that fucking screwball myself, because he he came down in a real precarious position into all of that fucking debris, and you know how sharp those those Christmas ornaments they, are. They, broken and they out. fucking splinter everywhere. Yes. But what, what the fuck is Maga Munch doing? What the fuck is he thinking? He's got him. This doesn't end well. Oh, Beth just sent him right through the fucking door. Listen to him. They like it. Machichi eating wood. We knew this was going to be fucking hyper violent. Ultra violent. What's Jasmine doing? Oh my god! 
with authority, but not enough to keep the bet down. Jasmine had something in mind there, and I really don't know what it was. Back up she goes. Keep, keep Necro in this thing. I, that, that's what it was. Oh! Just raw strength. I thought he was going to lose him. He's so covered in his own blood. Hard to get a grip. Jasmine getting in the ring with that Singapore cane. That's not going to fucking do it. All you're going to do is annoy him. Necro now has Bev right around the throat. And Bev is fading. Well, is he switching it up, going for that gator roll? Too much blood loss. That's got to be it. He's done. Let him fucking go. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Maga Butcher. Bobby's going to need some help here. I'm finally releasing the hold, but what a gruesome affair. Big fan of the Jasmine's choice of pants this evening as well. I have an eye for fashion, some would say. Look at, look at that fucking warrior. Not many can go like Necro can. Yeah, he's proven time and time again that he's still got it. Sometimes you wish with those that you grew up idolizing, you really hate to see what they get themselves put through. But it seems to reinvigorate him. It seems to bring him life. And still showing. He just beat the Tournament of Death champion right there. Well done. Look at this fucking... He's missing a few chromosomes. Uh, looks like Hillbilly will live to fight another day, too. He's, what a fucking mess he is oh, from head God. to toe. Look at his back. Nasty. Tacks and pieces of ornament. Look at that unit. Collecting MAGA Munch. What the hell's on his face? On his chin? I was afraid to ask. What the fuck? things to go over with you so as you know I was able to get Lindsay Snow back okay and and she <laughs> was supposed to the last time Russell Sage Russell Sage in a know. death match yes okay and that didn't happen okay but now that she's back and she's good we're gonna do Lindsay Snow versus Sage Sin Supreme in a death match. Yes. All right, all right. I mean, good. I feel kind of bad. I mean, I did beat her at Extreme Invasion, so I mean, might as well give her this. Uh, okay. All right. All right. So mark that down. Okay. What else? Title match. With who? Taya. Oh, okay, and who? Lou Dark. What? I, this doesn't make any sense. How does it not make any sense? Okay, you're 
with Lou Dark, or Lou Dark is with you. It's the whole surrogate thing. And Taya is with you. You're Taya's, like, manager. No, I run the women's division as a whole. Okay. All right. So, ever since I became the biggest TV star in all of XBW history, with Lou Dark, it's only fair that she gets a chance at a title match against Taya. You know what? At this point, I got so much shit I got to deal with. And the last thing I want to deal with is women. Oh. That's the last thing I want to deal with. sounds so disgusting the way you just said that. Okay. All right. But I wanted to... I know, I know, I know. You. Okay. Taya defends the title against Lou Dark Shatan, Sage Sin Supreme, wrestles Lindsay Snow in a death match. Yes. Anything else? Not right now. I'll see you later. You you go be you. I be me. I can't believe he's these <gasps> What the fuck is this? Manga Butcher! Well, it's like you said! Schlack was just in the war of a lifetime! Manga Butcher picking up that big win over the, the TOD winner, Bev! What you just saw there tonight is the Mega Maga movement taking over XPW, taking over every single ring we hit across the USA. And don't you forget that. America first. The Mega Maga Movement, and of course, Maga Butcher. Ho, ho, ho. I'm just standing right here in front of City Hall. Fire me to American Defense, fucking Hispanic shit, whatever. Sending a letter to Rob Black about me, about booking more Mexicans for December 10th? What the fuck's the matter with you, Rob? How can you bow down to these guys? You're a fucking race trainer. What? You're letting fucking the Joe Biden fucking administration run XPW? What happened to the old Rex uh, Rob Black? The old fucking ah, the Drizzly shits. I'm so fucking disappointed. Let me come on. We had the Maga Butcher going up against the Deathmatch Champion Slack. And now you got this fucking immigrant Ciclope. Are you freaking kidding me? A fucking illegal. Oh my god. And then you're gonna put up against. A homosexual, hard body, 
the body to go up against the bag of butcher? Are you serious, Rob? What happened to you? What happened? Fuck! It's so disappointing! What the fuck's going on with the fucking XPW? What happened, Rob? You bowed down! You got scared! But it's okay, cause December 10th, the Mega Maga with the Maga Billy and Jasmine C. Claire with the Maga Butcher. We gonna make it a white Christmas, baby. December 10th, the Derby Room in Pomona. Mega Maga Munch. Oh, you guys, just wait and see, baby. Just wait and see. There's a grip of wrestling promoters or, or wrestling company owners that fall in line with that woke ideology bullshit. Where if anybody has a different opinion, a different thought, anything that veers off what they deem acceptable and right and pure and wholesome, then that person is not just a piece of shit, but they're evil. They're fucking horrible. They're monsters. The list goes on and on. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. Did you say slack? Do you want slack? There's no God, only slack. Now you can wear slack. Get your slack t-shirt. The king of the deathmatch champion. Go to the xbwrestling.com website and get your slack t-shirt now. Tonight, 
There are going to be a lot of firsts, I believe, here tonight as part of Halloween in Hell 3. One-on-one -on -one action, Lou Dark Chaton, Mickey Knuckles, women's death match. As you can see, the weaponry already. Oh. And Mickey Knuckles is giving uh, our ref here a uh, makeover. Well, Mickey Knuckles for me. Uh, now the referee is uh, getting a little hardcore herself, but this is an official match. She's not into it. Oh. She's got her work cut out for her at the end of the day, and you can't play favorites either. What the hell is this? What are they gonna do oh with my that? god, X rated roulette, uh, black or red at the, at the roulette table? What is that? From the Hustler Casino. Did they get it from your closet? <laughs> no. <laughs> They're drinking out of it. Yeah. What is that stuff? A facial. Well, that, yeah, that's, well, this is XPW. Now it's feeling more like the old XPW. Oh, man. My God. Can we rewind that? Oh, never mind. Replay. That's right. That's right. I'm recording it. And I get, okay. uh, here we go. One on one action. Once again, fans, this is it. It is underway. Halloween in Hell 3. And the big stare off right now between Ludark Shatan and, uh oh, that's not going to last long. No stranger. Neither one of these ladies will back down from the other, or back down from a fight. I like the shots of Mickey Knuckles, I have to oh. say. Yeah, those come with some force. Off the ropes now, here comes Knuckles again. Oh. And this time, Shaitan goes down. <laughs> Definite weight advantage from Mickey, Mickey Knuckles. And don't forget, it's not just a wrestling match, fans. This is a death match. Women's like, death match. We got the weapons, Women's we got the table, death women's deathmatch. We got the, the light tubes in there. I mean, no, sh no shortage of weaponry. Uh oh, speaking of. It has begun. Look at this. Very, I was gonna say, as like a gentleman's agree, like a lady's agreement here. Uh oh, oh, look at oh. that. Right between the eyes. Way to start show. Mickey Knuckles, I just think that angered her. Oh, oh my goodness, two of them. Shaton, though. Almost, in, it's like it's enraging her. Look at this. We just started. I would be confused, too. Look at it. Oh, no. And look, at you can oh. see the glass sticking out. Oh, she's and, screwing it in. Oh, oh already. That. Oh, what a, what a shot that was from the camera. You can see it. The, the, the laceration when it literally happened. Dude, oh! Knuckles, desperation. Blue Dark Shaitan wants all of Mickey Knuckles' blood. Single leg takedown into a side headlock. And there's that hatchet. Oh, oh my goodness. No. This is hell. That's painful. She could, she could kill her with that thing. Uh oh. Oh, oh. no! Oh, I possibly a visit Monday morning to the old proctologist. Or, you know, hopefully an emergency one. To, yeah, tonight. hopefully before that. <laughs> yeah, hopefully she won't need that. There is glass already all over the ring. And there's still about 90% of these weapons haven't even been used yet. A few chops. Oh, reverse knife edge. Oh, open hand chop right to the face. Lou Dark Chaton trying to fight out of it. Headbutt, open hand chop. Forearm shot. And now Ludark looking for Found anything her. she can. Oh, those gusset plates. Oh, oh my goodness. She just headbutted a gusset plate into her chest. To the cleavage. <laughs> now if someone stares at her cleavage, I guess you can't get, you know, busted for that. You're literally looking at looking. the. Oh. oh, no. All that weight oh. with that gusset She's plate. She's drilling it in. Quite literally. Oh. Drives the knee down into the gusset plate. Stuck in the skin. Oh, that skin just Lose peeling back. off. Lose back. Lose back. Lose back. <laughs> My goodness. Shaitan now with the upper hand. And she's got those fluorescent light bulbs, light tubes. 
Look out! Oh, oh no! Right to the small of the back in that toxic dust to boot. Insult injury. Knuckles, though, still trying to fight out of this. She knows that it's desperation time right there. If she allows Shatan, oh, Shatan, ruthless with those headbutts. But Mickey Knuckles fighting fire with fire. Now she's pissed. Now she's enraged. In it for vengeance. Pump handle. Oh, no. All those shards of glass as she drove her down. Look at that face. That's a scary face. I don't know. Oh, my God. I don't know if she's my favorite auntie now. One. Only a one count. Mickey Knuckles. If that face doesn't define Halloween and hell, I don't know what will. But we have a long night ahead of us, fans. A lot of great action coming at you as part of this tremendous card as XPW once again returns to the Derby Room, returns to Fight TV Worldwide. She's calling out. Oh, man. Oh, what? Suffocation. It is the old XPW. Chaton. There we go. There you go. Yes. More than I agree. It feels nostalgic already. Thanks to Mickey Knuckles. Thanks to Lou Dark Chaton. Thanks to everybody in the back. Oh my goodness, what a night this is going to be. What a night it already is. What a way to kick it off. Knuckles now. Serving. Look out. Oh. oh, here we go. Chaton, though. Both these gals just fighting. Sheer will. Oh, no. Suplex right on top of those spike, those gusset plates again. I was out here earlier as we're going to take one more look at this. Standing vertical suplex, not only on the outside, but right into those. Oh, Poor those gusset plates. Yeah. And you know what, some of the fans, they can testify. And we were all going around there, checking out the weaponry. They were allowed to touch the weapons, surveying it all. And man, oh man, don't take my word for it. It is the real deal. Ask the fans here tonight in Pomona. But more importantly, ask these two that are suffering at the hands oh, of no. one another. Oh no, oh no, oh, no. oh no. God. No, no, no. That is on the top of the skull. My God. Oh, Cat Martini, have you ever seen anything like this? Especially from the female division. You know, I have to say, every time I see the girls, it's always something new. Oh, oh. And that is definitely new. Look at the blood. You can see the blood all over the back of Knuckles. Oh, right to that. Wait, look at this. Oh. Chaton. What's she trying to do? Was she with her? I have no idea. I've never seen. Combatants push through the pain the way these two are. So bad they want to get the upper hand on the other that it's almost like they're not even feeling the pain. Oh, oh, oh. the already lacerated head of Mickey Knuckles now being sliced again. Oh, she is in trouble. Lou Dark Chaton. You gotta be impressed right now with Lou Dark Chaton in there I, with Mickey Knuckles. I am impressed. I'm nauseous watching all the blood just splat from her head. You know, but oh. hey, part of the game. Oh, <laughs> is it ever? Oh my goodness! To that ring post, smart move right there on the part of Knuckles, isolating Lou Dark Chaton. And that's what she may need to turn the tide here. Lou Dark Chaton though, holding her own. Oh no. What do you call that? A crotch chop? No, I can't even call it a crotch chop. Whatever Mickey think, Knuckles wants it to be called. Yeah. Auntie Crotch? <laughs> Auntie Crotch. <laughs> Mickey Knuckles now talking some smack. But Shaton, maybe taking too much time, Mickey Knuckles was. Man, she looks lifeless right now. Those eyes were looking very dazed for a moment there on the part of Mickey Knuckles. As now both finally. Well, maybe, finally getting back into the oh, ring. No. Look at this now, representing. Oh, chokehold with uh, the Mexican flag. That's right. Pride. Do it. People all over the world tuned in 
to check out Halloween in Hell 3. New Dark Shaitan, Mexico's own. Yes, that Show bloody flag. Absolutely, showing her sense of pride. Oh, caught her right in the kidneys there. Taking too much time herself with Shaitan. What does Vicky Knuckles have in mind here? Perching. Shaitan oh. up on the near side of their Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, oh, I think she heard me say crotch chop. I didn't hear her do that loud. Oh, God. Oh, man. What was she doing there? She is distracting the dark. She's doing more than that. Possible. Distracting her by violating her. Listen to this the, crowd. She just violated her. That was not consensual. Oh, drink break. Well, maybe she needs that. At the very least. She's got to rehydrate. Get back in there. And maybe some of that liquid courage, if you will. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Mickey Knuckles with that table. Don't forget, fans, the weapons all, look at that. We still have a chair wrapped in barbed wire, a steel chair. There's just so much in that ring right now. Knuckles, oh my goodness, relentless. Shaitan dazed, and that table set up. Shaitan though, firing with the knees. Shaitan, what does she have in mind here? What is that? Oh no, oh. it's it's the dildo. It's a BBC. Wait a minute, look out! Oh. Knuckles catching her. Oh, oh no, oh. Well, is that where I think it is? I think it is. What kind of she, wrestling matches? She thought she was violated before. It takes violation. I don't think Fight TV's ever seen anything like this. Oh, massive headbutt, Shaitan. How is she still standing? I have no idea. Or let alone fighting back. That upper hand. Like you said, Cap Martini, these two have been in wars with each other before. Remember that triple threat? Don't think they don't want at it. Both of them showing just how bad they want this. Just shows you right there how hard those light tubes are. You know, oh! But nothing was gonna stop them from breaking right there. Mickey Knuckles looks like she just went through a literal war. Hooks the leg, referee down one, two. Mickey Knuckles kicks out, how I have no idea. Both gals putting it all on the line in our opening contest What's here tonight. What's in the bucket? What's in the bucket? What oh is? Oh my goodness, look at all that glass. I'm already hurting. Wherever that's gonna go, I'm already hurting in that body part. I'm hurting all over. Looks like a car wreck. Oh my goodness, those, those are shards of glass. It's like the movie Die Hard. Kind of looks like the the guy who ran over a deer the other night coming home from the airport. And I must say that's what that when, road looked like. When was this? Last night. We, you want to talk about that later or yeah, now? I'll talk about that okay, later. okay, okay. I'm just saying that's I what don't, it looked yeah. like. <laughs> I, that was that was news to me as well. Look at this now. Oh! More chops. I think her shirt came down. There might have been a little. Uh, uh, oh no. Uh, huh? Don't oh, talk oh, about no. that. Wait! Oh! Again, the more, it's like the more Lou Dark punishes Knuckle, the more enraged she goes. Oh, oh drag her to the glass. Dra dragged her through those thousands That's and thousands of pieces of broken glass. Now I know what that dead deer feels like. <laughs> oh, oh. Still gotta find out more about this dead deer in the airport. Nonetheless, back to live action here. Back to our opening contest, believe it or not, fans. Coming to you from the Derby Room, Chris Kloss, Cap Martini Ringside, Pomona, California, Fight TV Worldwide. Irish Whip, no. Loses control. Mickey Knuckles trying to fight out of it. Oh, puts on the brakes. Remember, she set that up, and she did. Oh, oh head first. And that table didn't budge. Look at the eyes. One, two. Oh, so good. She kicked out! Oh my gosh, are you sure that's two? That looked like three to me. Referee said two. 
Udark Chaton obviously wanting it to be three as well, but apparently this women's death match, our opening contest continues at Halloween in Hell, number three. This must be exciting for you, Halloween in Hell three. Hey, you know what? I thought about it. You know, Halloween in, Halloween, uh, Halloween in Hell one and two, we had Dorco Dude here. We, we don't have him here at Halloween in Hell 3. It's kind of like how Michael Myers wasn't on Halloween 3. I don't uh, know. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit of a stretch. I'm not, I'm not calling Kevin, Kevin Kleinrock an evil, uh, you know, killer or anything like that. But, oh! Oh! Man, she's just going all for it in Luke Dark's private part. Oh, my. The violation continues. <laughs> and then some. What a sight. Big right cross. Into the table. Knuckles now. Oh, oh, the gusset oh, plates. Oh, no. Katon has got to be, oh, breaking her midsection. But you notice, even when Chaton goes through this, these, these bats of punishment, she fights back because she knows what it takes to put Mickey Knuckles away. Oh, right on top of those gusset plates again. That, that heavily enforced table. So they can be used. One, two. Oh, again. Is that two or was that three? Ludark Shatan. That was it. Call it, call it somewhat of an upset. But either way. Like we said earlier, Cap Martini, you got to be impressed with that outing. Ludark Chaton, so impressive, especially in there with a female deathmatch wrestling legend and icon like Mickey Knuckles. Big, big win. Ludark Chaton kicking things off here at Halloween in Hell 3. Brought to you by Extreme Professional Wrestling. Welcome to Halloween and Hell 3. Yeah, I Dark get... your first winner of the night. Absolutely right. Once again, Cat Martini. And my name is Chris Kloss, welcoming, welcoming you all to the third ever Halloween in Hell. It was back on October the 29th, 1999. What is Mickey doing? Uh-oh. We're getting X-rated in more ways than one. Oh! oh. How sweet! Oh. So romantic. Wow! I guess you call that good sportsmanship when talking female death matches. Oh, wow. Udar Shaitan. Not afraid to let it all hang out, and then some. Fans, again, a special night. This now, fans, is the first XPW event since its return in this most recent incarnation of X. Oh, oh, that is one bloody that, ass. That was very up close and personal. Sure was. Extreme Pro Wrestling XPW returning. actually ever met. You might not know a lot about me, but I obviously know a lot about you. Your name is thrown around with icon, legend, hardcore hero, but I see you for what you really are. Just an old, pissed off, redneck, racist piece of shit from Missouri. And Necro, the only thing that you might have been able to beat was cancer, but I'm not fucking cancer.
It's beginning to feel a lot like Merry Christmas from XPW, featuring Judge Joe Dredd, Brawlin' Bo Cooper, Bestia Say Say Say, Psychosis, Damien Say Say Say, The Juice Hoover to Guerrera. Deathmatch icon, Drake Younger. Willie Mack. XPW World Heavyweight Champion, Masada. Maga Butcher. Lindsey Snow. XPW Fight TV Champion, Cat Martini. The XPW King of the Deathmatch. No God, only Schlack. Jasmine St. Clair. Pumpkin Queen, Sage Sin Supreme. The XPW Women's Champion, Taya Valkyrie. This and much, much more. Merry Christmas, XPW, December 10th. The Derby Room in Pomona, California. For tickets, visit XPWWrestling.com or stream live with us here on Fight. this year I know I'm on Santa's nice list definitely but kind of come to the point where being nice can only get me so far if I'm getting greedy I'm getting naughty but you know what I'll give one nice thing to you all in the season of giving so at Merry Christmas I'm giving you an open challenge to anybody, man or woman, in an XPW locker room. See if you can get this as your Christmas gift. Jasmine St. Clair and it is that time of the year to bring you XPW Wrestling's top 10 hotties. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, number 10, Necro Butcher. He's patriotic and I have a thing for younger guys too. <laughs> number 9, Patrick Hernandez. Yeah, the referee. Like, I had a thing for him even in the 90s because he had that dad thing going on and I sort of have daddy issues like now and again. Number eight, TJP, because what's there not to like about a high-flying guy that's muscular? Number seven, Chris Kloss. I liked him when he had blonde hair, even though it was bleached. And now that he has dark hair, I mean, he's still kind of hot looking. Number six, Willie Maga. I mean, Willie Mac. Come on, he's hot. Look, I have a thing for the soul pole now and again. 
seriously. Number five, Vampiro. I have to say, when I saw Vampiro at the last show, it was caliente. He looks so much hotter with his makeup off. He's kind of um, he's kind of charming and dazzling in a way. Number four, whew, okay, Dexter. Everyone knows I like my men big, tall, and blonde. And besides, my mom once told me, once you meet Aryan, you end up marrying. Number three, Masada. He is extremely interesting in very many ways, more than one. Oh, number two, because he comes from London and he's got that accent, Big Joe. I only, like, do you think he's that big after his matches? Anyway, and of course, number one, my dream man. And I have to tell you, if he ever becomes president, I will be his first lady. I'll do anything his wants. I'll, I'll be an intern, anything. The number one hottie is Drake. <laughs> Great. 